I heard it was a law of the internet that every massive enterprise product has an open source alternative. In the case of analytics, there are many. This video will go over the top open source product analytics tools. These tools collect data and help you understand user behavior. This includes product analytics platforms, but also web analytics, session recordings, and A-B testing tools. The first one we'll cover is Posthog. Posthog is an all-in-one analytics platform built for engineers. It includes a suite of product analytics tools, including trends, dashboards, funnels, retention tracking, feature flags, experimentation, session recordings, and more. It's entirely self-serve and can be self-hosted on your existing infrastructure, making it ideal if you don't want to share data with third parties. The open source version is free to use under MIT license. It includes core product analytics, feature flags, and session recordings. Postdoc also has a full open source edition without any proprietary code and a cloud hosted edition that we recommend most users use. Both self-hosted and cloud are free up to 1 million events per month. Second is Matomo. Matomo is an open source platform for website analytics. It's one of the most popular open source analytics alternatives to Google Analytics for site owners and marketing teams. It even includes a data import tool from Google Analytics to help you bring your data with you. Matomo is easy to set up on WordPress and WooCommerce. It includes marketing metrics and attribution and has integrations with popular content management systems. You can run Matomo on-premise or use their cloud hosting service. The on-premise version is available under a AGPL v3 license. It includes their core web analytics reports, real-time analytics, content tracking, and supports unlimited websites and users. Premium add-ons like A-B testing and funnels are charged on a per-user basis. Cloud hosting is available and built on hits. Next is Countly. Countly offers a wide range of tools to help build better products. It focuses on mobile and desktop applications and enables you to bring together both qualitative and quantitative insights. Features like crash analysis help support and engineering teams improve their app experience, while surveys help product teams do the same. However, many features like dashboards and funnels are only available in the enterprise product. Countly's Community Edition is available under a AGPL v3 license, but it is limited. It only includes core analytics features. Customer behavior insights, such as retention, cohorts, and funnels are only available in the Paid Enterprise Edition, and Countly doesn't provide public pricing information. Open Replay moves in a different direction to the ones we've detailed so far. There is Session Capture and Playback Suite, built for developers and privacy-focused companies. It lacks many of the core analytics features, such as page views, but it delivers a tool to augment others. Its session replay feature automatically captures events and provides useful click maps, in addition to detecting rage clicks and loading pages. It also offers funnel analysis, performance monitoring, error tracking, and has extensive integrations with other logging tools. It's great for privacy-focused teams looking for details on user behavior, along with error and performance tracking. Open Replay is available under the ELv2 license. An enterprise version adds additional reporting features and dedicated support, but public pricing isn't available. They have a cloud version with pricing based on sessions. Plausible Analytics comes next as a provider of website analytics that don't infringe on users' privacy. They don't rely on cookies and are naturally compliant with regulations like GDPR. Unlike Metomo, Plausible is a Google Analytics alternative that is streamlined. As a result, it's a great fit for smaller teams who prefer ease of use or just lightweight basic analytics. Plausible is available under an AGPL v3 license and can be self-hosted via Docker. Pricing for the hosted version starts at $9 per month for 10,000 page views. Umami is next and is similar to Plausible as a simple privacy-focused Google Analytics alternative. It doesn't collect data that is personal data, use cookies or track 
across your sites. It contains all your key website metrics like views, bounce rate, sources, and events all on one page. Umami is available under an MIT license and is self-hostable and free. It has a cloud version coming soon. Last but not least is Growthbook. It is an open source A-B testing tool and feature flag tool. Growthbook is great for teams who want granular control of rolling out new features and testing features through experiments. It supports multiple environments, multivariate flags, and allows for targeting based on user properties. Growthbook works with your data wherever it lives, whether it is a data warehouse or an analytics tool like Mixpanel. Growthbook is distributed under an MIT license and can be self-hosted at no cost. The cloud version is free up to three users and is afterwards $20 per month. That is all the open source analytics tools we have today. If you have any questions or a tool that I missed, leave it in the comments below. Otherwise, check out more of our content like this at postdoc.com slash blog. Thanks for watching.